Hello and welcome to another adventure of how not to be a spear fisherman. Today's one's a particularly sore one for me and it's taken me about three months in order to actually use this footage for something. But here's a bit of context. For about the last 12 to 15 years I've been chasing a black cod in Queensland. And I've had four chances and I've ruined them all. But this one is by far my worst. So here's a bit of context. We're sitting at about 30 metres on the top of this ledge and we usually come here to hunt other things and I've never seen a black cod here before. But on this day, one appeared and I missed it point blank. So, I'll let you watch it in normal speed first, then we'll rewind and I'll go through it in slow motion just how I ruined this opportunity. Okay, so here's the reasons I suck. The first one is, I had perfect cover. I could have snuck up on this fish beautifully from behind the, this ledge, but instead I was overexcited. And I was like, yay, I'm finally gonna succeed where I've failed so many times and for so many years. And because of this excitement, instead of just calmly moving my gun into position, I yanked that gun into position and clipped the bottom. This spooked the fish. Now, because the fish took off, I tracked ahead of the fish so that by the time the spear left the gun, the fish would have moved and gotten hit. This didn't happen. As soon as I pulled the trigger, the fish did a 180 and turned. So the spear just glided past his nose and hit the rock with great force. Now, if I was trying to catch the rock, it would have been a perfect shot. Alas, I wasn't. I really wanted that fish. So all I had was a really deep sense of confusion and also anger. I couldn't work out how I had done this so poorly until a couple of months later. I finally got the courage to watch the footage. Moral to this story is don't get overexcited, move too quickly, and shoot your load too early. You will just leave the fish and yourself disappointed.